On here and see me talking to you or your ass, I'm history. I think I can keep him under control, but you'll have to tell me who's working the snowflake case. Hey, I can't do nothing for you on that. My hands are totally tied. All right, that's it. Now it's my turn. Five minutes alone. That's all I need. Come on. Better look alive. I'm horns on our way down. Ooh. Oh, oh, come on now, Ace, please, man, please. What's the matter, Emilio? Afraid I'll make a stink? Huh, come on. What is your position on uh, breast implants? Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Borat. Get, get, I am new in town. I, I, get away I just me. say a kiss. You me. say hello. Everybody's talking at me. I don't hear words they're saying. Only the echoes of my mind. Ooh. People stop and stare. It arrived. I can't see Hello, my name is Borat. I am you in town. Don't uh, get, I, I say hello. Do I not touch me. I get near my face. I kiss you. Yeah, you kiss me and I'll pop you in the fucking balls, okay? What the mean of balls? Keep shining. Oh, nice. Through the pouring rain. Going well, the weather suits my clothes. Very nice. How much? Hello, nice to meet you. I knew you in town. My name is Borat. Good boy. Bang bang chitty chitty bang bang, our plan for tender friend. Bang bang chitty chitty bang bang, our plan for bender. Chitty bang bang chitty chitty bang bang, chitty bang bang yeah. Parkin, I was just wondering if you knew when my office would be ready. Well, that might take some time. For now, why don't you just grab a desk in the bullpen? You can use my office, and afterwards maybe we can go to lunch. Lower your voice, Ron. Love was. Are you in there? Son of a bitch! Pansy ass stool pusher. Yes! Maybe this can wait. I. I found, uh. I found Verdell, Mr. Udall. Well. That's a load off. Uh huh. Did you, uh. Did you do something to him? Do you realize that I work at home? Uh, no, I wasn't aware. Do you like to be interrupted when you were nancing around in your little garden? No, no, I, no, I, no. I actually will turn the ringer off of my phone and sometimes put a piece of card. Well, I work and... all the time. So never, never interrupt me, okay? Not if there's a fire. Not even if you hear the sound of a thud from my home, and one week later, there's a smell coming from there that can only be a decaying human body. And you have to hold a hanky to your face because the stench is so thick that you think you're gonna faint. Even then, don't come knocking. Or if it's election night, and you're excited and you want to celebrate because some fudge packer that you date has been elected the first queer president of the United States and he's going to have you down to Camp David. And you want someone to share the moment with. Even then, don't knock. Not on this door. Not for any reason. Do you get me, sweetheart? Look here, get him out of here. I'll go smooth things over with Chapeska. Tell him food poison or something. What do you mean, get him out of here? Take him to the car. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm a motherfucking dwarf. So unless you got a forklift handy, maybe you should lend a hand, hmm? Zach figures, you want all kind of set aside, special treatment because you're handicapped. You all the same. Special treatment? I'm three foot fucking tall, you asshole. It's a matter of physics. Draw me a sketch of how I get him to the car, huh? Bitch, bitch, bitch. Sketch it up, you fucking moron. Fucking Leonardo da Vinci. What you calling me, Zaha? I called you a fucking guinea homo from the 15th fucking century, you dickhead. I can stick you in my ass, small fry. Yeah? You sure it ain't too sore from last night? You got some lip on you, midget. Well, these lips were on your wife's pussy last night. Why don't you dust that thing off once in a while, asshole? My secret is that I let the jalapenos marinate in a spicy sauce for at least 24 hours before I stir it into the chili. Then I let it all come to a simple. Hold that thought, Hazel! It's 
Jesus, it! An asteroid or some kind of meteorite has just hit ground right outside the Mark Twain Chili Cook-Off! This should certainly spice things up a bit! my surprise? No. Goodbye, horses. Crazy eyes. What? What? Oh, yeah. Hey, Eight. How you doing, pal? I got your pizza for you just the way you like it. Oh, yes. French fries and Oreos. You know me all too well, Deeds. What are you in for? Well, I'm doing a one-nighter for biting Ed the mailman. The guy was trying to cast a spell on me, you know, like a wizard or something. As the 21st century began, human evolution was at a turning point. Natural selection, the process by which the strongest, the smartest, the fastest reproduced in greater numbers than the rest, a process which had once favored the noblest traits of man, now began to favor different traits. Most science fiction of the day predicted a future that was more civilized and more intelligent. But as time went on, things seemed to be heading in the opposite direction, a dumbing down. How did this happen? Evolution does not necessarily reward intelligence. With no natural predators to thin the herd, it began to simply reward those who reproduced the most and left the intelligent to become an endangered species. Having kids is such an important decision. We're just waiting for the right time. It's not something you want to rush into, obviously. No way. Oh, shit, I'm pregnant again! Shit! I got too many damn kids! Thought you was on the pill or some shit! Hell no! I must have been thinking of Brittany. Brittany? No, you didn't! There's no way we could have a child now. Mm -mm. Not with the market the way it is, no. God, no. That just wouldn't make any sense. Come on over here, bitch! He don't care about you! Yeah, well, there must be something he likes over here. Don't mean nothing to me, baby. Oh, shit. It wasn't me! It wasn't me! Well, we finally decided to have children, and I'm not pointing fingers, but it's not going well. <laughs> and this is helping. So. I'm just saying that before I have in vitro, maybe you should be willing it's to... It's always me, right? Well... Not my sperm count. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! I'm gonna fuck all of you! That's my boy! <laughs> Cleavon is lucky to be alive. He attempted to jump a jet ski from a lake into a swimming pool and impaled his crotch on an iron gate. But thanks to recent advances in stem cell research and the fine work of doctors Krensky and Altshuler, 
Cleavon should regain full reproductive function. Put your hands off my junk! Unfortunately, Trevor passed away from a heart attack while masturbating to produce sperm for artificial insemination. But I have some eggs frozen, so just as soon as the right guy comes along, you know. And so it went for generations, although few, if any, seem to notice. But in the year 2000, I love you. Fuck off.